Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Ultimate Cross update video. So, Air Crossover Live has ended, and there were a lot of things revealed um, over the last two weeks just for the month of April in Ultimate Cross. So, hopefully, you guys are excited for all of the information that we are just about to go through. So, taking a look at the website, you know, you can tell that this is the last 3D live tour that Dana will be doing um, using the Uta Macross, you know, platform. Uh, you know, because I think basically they have run dry of, you know, usable costumes and songs. Uh, they tried their best to, you know, build a crossover live style for Ultra Macross, but you know, it's just missing certain flair. For those of us who were able to catch the actual crossover live in 2019 within Japan, you know that you know certain Macross series were kind of left out in this Ultra Macross version of the 3D Live Tour. So I won't say what was left out because basically it's kind of like a spoiler. Um, for those who were not able to attend the actual concert back then, uh, you will probably feel a lot of heart pain if I actually told you what were the actual um, song listings for Crossover Life. So, I'm just gonna leave that out uh, as it is, you know, to not cause heartache <laughs> for the Macross fans who were not able to attend the concert in 2019. Um, I'm sure there is a song list out there on the internet somewhere you know if you guys really want to figure out what were the songs performed during Macross Crossover Live 2019 you can go ahead and um, you know ask Google <laughs> about it okay so before we start breaking things down I'm gonna let the video clip um, that was shown at the end of Uta Macross 3D Live Tour Air Crossover Live. You know, play right here and pay attention, guys. There's quite a bit of information shown in this short clip. Uh, of course, this short clip can be seen on the official Uta Macross Twitter page. Mm, you know, in the past, the last few reviews were not available on the Twitter site, so. Surprisingly enough, Dana decided to upload it this time round on the official Twitter for Ultimate Cross. So yeah, um, here we go. Alright, so 
if you guys pay attention, you probably will have noticed. Um, of course, the first thing will be that Ranka is also getting a new costume similar to what Freya uh, had revealed in the last um, 3D Live tour. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> so yeah, my wallet is not safe once again. You know, Ranka has a new costume. Of course, if the episode plate is fantastic, um, our money in our wallets are not safe. Uh, technically, if the episode plate isn't fantastic, you know, unlocking the costume alone through episode ops, or you know, if the event actually gives costume points for the featured costume, that would be fantastic. So. Yeah, so apparently Ranka and Freya's costumes are for the same event. <laughs> so the luckily enough, the main song, which is Songbird, which belongs to Ranka, uh, definitely hints that Ranka's costume is gonna be unlockable through event episode plates. So that really uh, puts my money at ease <laughs> but for Freya fans I feel pity for you guys um, you know because your waifu's costume is locked behind a gacha wall so that's a real problem all right so with that said let's break down the wiki website for Utah Macross first so let's take a look at the site here so information here is for the month of April. Of course, there is going to be a version update. So version 4.0 update, which is going to happen on the 30th of March. So it's going to happen tomorrow. So at this, at this point of time that I'm recording, it's actually the 29th of March in Japan. And of course, where I am in Singapore as well. So what does it say here? If you guys noticed during the um, hacked information produced by Reina, uh, you notice that they show the background has um, changed, like they have a morning scenario, an evening scenario, and a night scenario. So all the Japanese text right here um, can be summed up like this. So with this new version update, the main menu that we are so familiar with is going to change and it's going to look like what is seen here um, with Freya in the, um, the foreground and of course the background has a different kind of illustration um, that changes accordingly to time and of course this has never happened before but Dana is including this into this new um, home page setup so the music the background music that we normally hear in the main menu will change according to the time of day. So in the morning, you will have a different kind of song. In the afternoon, another one. And of course, at night, you will have a different song as well. So that's pretty interesting to look forward to. Um, of course, Dana has um, basically just said all in this Japanese text that the new home layout is just there to make things easier to navigate around. So this is actually the third time that Uta Macross had its home page layout changed, which is fantastic. Um, it's always nice to see a simplistic style um, menu setting. And it's, it's kind of a bit of a simplistic but stylish design you know with very little colors going around um, unlike the Utah cross we are so familiar with right now so yes I will definitely be making a tutorial video um, regarding the new version update um, in the future once it's been launched on the 30th of March so at least you guys will have an easier understanding on how to navigate this new menu. Um, shouldn't be too much 
of a change, but of course, if there are some major changes, I will definitely highlight them for you guys. So yeah, um, there is also the other thing that is mentioned here in all text, but there was a visual introduction to it um, in the short clip um, hacking video that Reina played. So basically what this Japanese text says is that you know the um, I would say the filter system? Now Dana has implemented a new subcategory of filters that the players can make use of. Basically you now can um, you can search episode plates accordingly to score setup, life setup. Um, basically like your life skill or maybe um, I guess basically you sort according to you, your active skill abilities so you got your score you got your life recovery I think so I might be wrong but it's definitely a improvement on the filtering system especially when you want to customize your diva setups um, accordingly to how you want to play so that's pretty important so yeah okay so moving along let's take a look at the rest of the information here um, so for the month of April of course taking a look at the uh, the trend that Dana is now permanently implementing in the past um, you know seven star episode plates could come in quantities of two each month or just a single 7 star in episode play but now it is now confirmed it is 2 7 star episode plays every month Milane is getting a brand new 7 star episode play and of course it features her school uniform um, just like the rest of the divas that got their school uniform in the month of March Milane is getting her school uniform episode plate right here with adorable chibi basara and um, um oh my goodness his name Skip a goblin <laughs> i almost forgot his name right there yes so we got chibi basara and goblin right there in the illustration that is just adorable then you notice that milane's base has a different color design to her, the base body right there uh, matching to her school uniform top color which is um, I guess coffee brown it looks yeah or milk tea whichever trend you're following <laughs> right now in terms of your drinks and of course we have Reina's um, crossover life key art visual 2 design of course it follows the roller skate designs that Kaname has Makina has um, so Reina is the third one to receive that treatment. So yes, Ray Ray fans, Melee fans, uh, our wallets are in trouble. As you guys know, Ranka is not just the only wife <laughs> I have. Uh, number two is Reina for me. Then followed by Makina and of course Melane. So I am extremely in trouble this month. I don't think my 7 star luck can follow on um, like I, I had in March. Um, definitely Cheryl and Ranka has drained all my 7 star luck right there. So April is going to end up very dry. If I do get some 7 star episode plates, I have to be very thankful. So moving along. Um, in the previous 3D Live tour for Valkyrie, we got to see Kaname's costume appear. So apparently, um, Mikumo's costume here is getting a revised episode plate. So it's not a brand new costume for Mikumo. So for those of you guys who have already unlocked Mikumo's costume, um, it's just extra costume points. So, do not expect too much from this gacha. It's just that, yes, it's a more powerful version of Mikumo's 
episode plate um, for this costume. So it might be a new episode plate with maybe 3,900 um, total score um, and it might come with a special note attached to it. Who knows? Uh, we'll see when it actually comes out. So yeah, so the raid event um, is definitely going to belong to Valkyrie. So it, let me see, I think there was an information here that indicated um, the raid boss episode. Oh yeah, here it is. It's in Japanese. So the featured um, exchangeable raid boss exclusive episode plate belongs to Cheryl and Freya. So um, Freya and Cheryl fans can expect a pretty nice episode plate. Um, then of course the episode plate will feature Cheryl's costume for this particular costume. So let's click this and see which costume it is. So yeah, okay. So there it is. That's the costume that's featured for the Red Boss episode plate. So for those of you guys who are new to Utah Macross and have yet to unlock the costume, uh, look forward to that Red Boss episode plate. Uh, that is that if you have enough um, uh, Super Galaxy uh, Choginga medals. So Super Galaxy medals. <laughs> uh, the translation in my mind is lagging right now because at this time I'm recording is. 37 a.m. Uh, my brain is kind of worn down. I'm tired, so do pardon me if I'm slow to react. But I'm still very excited for what has been reviewed. So yeah, all right. The last event of the month, um, considering that March we went through the uh, Diva Improvement event, definitely April will be the um, high score versus event which is going to be a lot relaxing and of course how to relax with the event well they introduced Ranka's <laughs> relaxing song <laughs> Songbird so definitely looking forward to it it's one of my favorite Ranka songs um, then of course I'm loving the costume design like I said uh, in the last video or uh, you know uh, if you guys follow me on Facebook, you will probably know that I've been talking about Freya's costume design. Um, it is definitely designed um, or rather influenced by music instruments. So Ranka's costume design uh, looks to be that of the piano, while Freya's was actually designed, I think it was the trumpet? I think so. So yeah, um, so aside of all the information here, we are getting a repeat event um, right here that it features the song Mi uh, Mirai On. So yeah, so if for those of us who are in love with Valkyrie's latest um, single, so definitely can look forward to this song coming back. It's definitely a very catchy song and you know, enjoyable song to play as well. And of course, for the month of April, we have actually two divas birthdays but surprisingly the wiki site only said one of them is getting a birthday gacha so it's maki maki so for those of you who are raka fans yes my wallet is crying right now for the month of april makina ranka both of them are having birthdays in the month of april so then you know so that means Makina and Ranka's 6 star episode plates are going to get a boost um, in appearance, you know, if of course if you pull their yeah, step up gachas. So <laughs> yeah, my wallet is not safe for the month of April. I might not pull both of them or I might just pull I might just pull Makina's depending on what um, Ranka's 6 star episode plate is being featured because if I do have Ranka's 6 star episode plate fully evolved to its 7 star form um, I don't see the need to pull Ranka's step up birthday gacha so yeah weigh your priorities I guess depends on, the, on your collection and of course which diva you stand more so 
Uh, Makina's 7 star episode plate I've yet to evolve, so it's likely that I might pull Makina's birthday banner. Um, so yeah. Then of course there is the birthday exclusive episode plate as well. So depending on which Divas episode plate you're lacking, um, you might want to focus on their birthday step up gacha. Well, that is if Dana decides to release Ranka's birthday step up gacha. Uh, aside from all the news that is featured here, um, they might delay Ranka's birthday step up gacha to the month of uh, May. Who knows? So, yeah, so that's pretty much all the information that we have here. Um, you know, considering that Rena hacked um, the, the White Knight's database to show us all the Uta Macross content. <laughs> well, that's basically what she does whenever she has this kind of short clip introduction videos. And of course, from the official Uta Macross wiki site, there's only this much information shown here, but as always, you know, there's certain things that might be hidden from us, you know, like login bonuses and special gachas and all that. A lot of people, a lot of the people are asking here in Japanese, where is Ranka's birthday step on gacha? <laughs> Which is um, perfectly fine reasoning in, you know, common base. Um, responses because yes, Ranka is having her birthday in the month of April as well. So where is her birthday gacha? I mean, considering that she is getting a new cons, new costume, um, and of course, you know, I think having four gachas feature seven star episode plates is a bit too much on the fans' wallets. But you know, there are whalers out there, so they they help us support <laughs> the game <laughs> so we have to be grateful towards the whalers as well but yeah at the same time envious of the uh, spending power so yeah guys anyway guys that's it for the information on the events for the month of april what do you guys think do you like all the episode plate illustrations shown um, on the wiki page and of course Reina's hacked information if you guys missed out on some of the information make sure you check out the um, earlier portion where I showed the clip off if not you can check out uh, Uta Macross official Twitter as well the clip is there you can replay the clip to your heart's content of course you can replay my video to your heart's content as well it will really help me out uh, especially Considering that you know YouTubers are also looking at um, watch duration and of course how many times the video get watched, liked, shared, subscribed, all the good stuff. Please do that. I will really appreciate it. Uh, you know, appreciate you guys for all this. Yeah. So that's it. I have nothing else to say for now except for look forward to the update video for version 4.0 once they've implemented the new home screen uh, yes there, there'll be a maintenance period then you won't be able to play Utame Cross during that time period as well so pay attention to that uh, make sure you do all your bulky operations before the maintenance happens uh, especially if you don't want to waste too much time waiting for the maintenance to complete and to be able to do the important stuff later on. So yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. And for now, I'm gonna hit the sack. Bye!